All right, this is ice bath number 19. 40 bags, 40 pounds of ice. It's a hot day. Let's do this. Start. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. This water is cold. I forget how cold it is. But it's so nice to have the sun beating on my face. I'm super hungry, so I'm really grateful to be getting this done. Because I'm going to go and eat. Mm. Not a cloud in the sky. You can hear some birds. Can you believe I've been doing this 19 weeks in a row? Whew, 19 weeks. Whew. Happy Thursday. So, um, Same old, same old. I wrote four great articles and made, no, five articles and I made four great videos, all for the rideshare guy. Very pleased with my work. I'm gonna see three of my friends on Monday in Walnut Creek for dinner. talk to him all the time on the phone or through zoom but it's really different when you do it in person you're eating at a place called the rooftop oh. on the uh, dread scale uh, the last two hours definitely felt dread about doing this But each week it gets a little bit less and less. I don't think about it at all the day before, and I used to. Now it's just something I do, and it can be uncomfortable. I'm actually shivering, which I didn't do last week. This fucking ice bath is dedicated to Doug H. Doug H. I've known Doug H since 2003, two or three. He and I uh, were both participating in a men's initiation ritual called the Grail. I had done a few of them. It was his first one and uh, he definitely seemed to get a lot out of it. So on future grails that I organized, um, Doug was often a part of the team. I still remember Doug cleaning the shower at my house where the guys, the women were gonna stay. <laughs> We've had some amazing experiences together. Doug lives in Tennessee, and he is the proud owner of the very successful Gabby's uh, Burgers and Fries in uh, Nashville. An extremely popular hamburger restaurant, which I've been to a couple of times. I remember the hamburger being really juicy, and I remember the sweet potato fries being quite awesome. I, uh, I think I have some pictures, which I, if I find them, I'll share them with you here while I'm shivering in the ice bath. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's 
So um, Doug's always great to have at these events. He um, brings a lot of emotion and really um, leads by example. Um, since I've known him, he got married and has two kids. And uh, what made me think of doing Doug this week, of dedicating this to Doug, was his son, his teenage son, uh, made some comments about millennials or Gen Zers and how stupid it was that they do ice baths. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know what? I guess that's a sign. Uh, he can show his son this <laughs> this uh, video and show him that his, uh, his buddy, who is a uh, baby boomer, uh, is doing ice baths every week. Yes, he is. So, um, the thing about Doug is he, he's very, um, no bullshit, he speaks from his heart, he's w really willing to be vulnerable, and um, he's had a really interesting life, so he has a lot of experiences from which to draw when he speaks, and uh, uh, he's just a great guy to have around. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. and. Uh, He's uh, fun, yeah, good guy. So uh, I guess that's what I wanted to say. Open heart, willing to be vulnerable, leads by example. Great guy to have on, I love you. Uh, Doug H, sorry about that, Doug H. Um, I, uh, I dedicate my shivering and all this positive energy I'm generating to you. For a while, I just want to sit here and enjoy the sun and listen to the sound of the birds. And and shiver. One of my friends, um, David, told me he's got two free air blue. Is that what it's called? Air blue? Um, tickets. And he's invited me to join him and to help pick the location. So. He put one condition on it that it has to be a non-stop flight from San Francisco because they go to the Caribbean, Colombia, but those have stops. So you spend a whole day traveling. So the place we are going to go, I believe, is Fort Lauderdale. Non-stop SFO to Fort Lauderdale. Leave like on a Friday, spend maybe leave on a Thursday, spend Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come back on a Monday. And uh, we can snorkel in the warm Atlantic. We can maybe scuba dive. We can uh, eat good food, hang out at the beach, drink a margarita on the rocks with salt on the rim. Go to the Keys. Not sure what you do at the Keys. Not sure what the Keys are. But uh, I don't think I've ever done that. So uh, I've been to Florida, but I haven't really explored it at all. So it seems like the best location to go. 
probably in October. It'll still be warm, but not hellfire hot. Okay, so this is a good ice bath because I am shivering. I wonder if you lose weight if that makes you shiver more because you have less body fat to like insulate against the cold. It's possible, huh? I'm holding right at 206. Um, just sticking with my keto diet for a while now. Not doing anything too crazy. Oh, it's really nice the way the light reflects off the ice in the water. Hits my eyes. Besides the shivering though, this is actually a really beautiful experience. The water doesn't even feel cold. It's not even the water feels cold. It's just the shivering. It's a little distracting. It doesn't hurt. It's just the body is trembling. Ooh, there's a bird, another bird. All the ice has melted. Let's see. Like 53, 52, something like that. It is interesting though how sometimes I shiver and sometimes I don't. I wonder if it has anything to do with how long it has been in terms of hours from my sauna. Usually I do this, usually I do this around 9.15, 9.30. Today I'm doing it around 11. So I wonder if my body has had more more time to cool down after the uh, the sweating this morning. That has something to do with why I'm shivering now. I don't know. Oh, another thing about Doug H, he's into bees. He likes to keep bees. So he's got these beehives, you know, that he's setting up. And he's been at it for a couple of years and he really loves it. He says it's very unpredictable, just the way life is. So he's learning a lot of lessons from the bees. He keeps bees. Never had a desire to keep bees. You ever wonder what it is you really like? I really like steak and lobster. I really like swimming in warm water, looking at things. I like margarita on the rocks. I love massages. I love exploring new places. But unlike my friend Doug H, I don't love bees. That's what he loves. Everybody loves different shit. I guess that's a pretty important thing to figure out what it is you love so you can do it. Okay, I am still fucking shivering. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. The next hour, it's gonna be so fucking cold. But then, I have an afternoon of nothing but the West Wing. I'm watching the West Wing from beginning to end. Love it, love it. Seconds. 